From now on, it's time to live as high dimensional self. The most important thing is telling your true mind. Open your heart and let yourself speak your mind. Seems my chakra's broken. Oh no, Yoshi. I wonder if I can get it fixed. I have faced myself seriously. This is the first and last for me to do such a thing thoroughly. Let's see the new world. Why not? Thank you for joining Starsi's channel. I'm Yoshi. I think I lost you, Akiko. Really? I think I can hear you now. Well, I'll just go keep on going. We'll go as it is without editing. Well, today's theme is about failure. Again, we've just decided the theme. Let's talk about it. Don't you feel scared that you might fail? I am still afraid of making a mistake. We actually don't start many things just because we are scared of failing. Then even though I have fear towards failure, well, I do say things in my lecture or seminars such as, don't be afraid of failing. I say this out loud to people, but to be honest, I'm still scared too. I just know as an entrepreneur, failure teaches success. I failed much more than the other people, but failing is still scary. So today I'd like to talk with you about what makes you feel scared of failure. Is that okay, Akiko? You wrote something about your failing experience recently, and I enjoyed it a little. Or I should say I was glad to hear that. So would you please tell us about it? Maybe just a little bit of uh, sharing, please. I'll give my feedback. That was in my online community. Normally, the members talk to each other and discuss. And it would finish as usually if I let go. But somehow, I saw this post saying, I can't say my opinion several times. And then I've got the feeling that even though all the members gather and talk, some people can't still say their opinions until the end. That's what I've got as my intuition. I thought I'd better join the conversation to speak out. So I had a meeting with them. And then I've lost control of myself. I was imagining that everyone would conclude calmly and calmly and peaceful, peacefully. Instead, I got out of control. I failed because I lost control myself. Well, now that I tell you what I felt with it, I didn't notice it at all when what happened because it was right at the same time that we opened up the community for the new members. Needed to deal with it so many things, couldn't even find enough time to sleep. When I watched it closely, I thought that was not failure at all. You thought it was a failure because you think about it with con consciousness of love. It's so Akiko. When, what can I say? I can. It was better if everyone shared various opinions. They didn't need to be controlled by your opinion. That's what you think as a failure, probably. To me, there was no failure at all. Well, no matter what, I'm really glad that you did it at all the end. That's what failure is. That's true. If you think that way, there is no failure at all. That's my recent realization. And I'm getting certain about it. Also, I thought from that point, saying your honest opinion is quite difficult, even in our online community. I know this community is the easiest place to speak out, but still, many people are gathering there. It made the atmosphere stopping some people from speaking out. People are be able to exchange their opinions about it. I thought it was rather really good. So the point is... So I want to think about this once again. Making a mistake and not saying your opinion 
they are the same, isn't it? After all, you will eventually cause trouble to somebody or yourself. If you live focusing completely on yourself with your own access, then probably there is no failure. Even though you know it, it's not an easy thing to do, is it? I guess that's where everybody gets stuck. How do you think about it, Akiko? Well, so what can I say? I looked at back and felt that I made a mistake. That's what I thought afterwards. But I was just following my heart. I was just myself as I am. I just said what I thought good at the point. And I just look, took action as I felt like it. This is higher self. It's really simple. Today I was watching my children. They just follow what their heart says, don't they? They don't go to school because they don't want to, just following their hearts. It happened to my children too. It was a mess what I, when my kid didn't go to school. Anyway, also, they won't eat when they don't want to eat. So children are fall, allowed, allowed to say whatever they want without thinking or situation. For some reason, once you become an adult, you are judged or criticized about such things. I wonder why these things happen when you grow up. At the same time, I guess the world has worked in that way until now. The point is, you could be criticized because you told the truth. Stasis are really straightforward after all, because I did this mistake this time. I became even sure I am indeed a starseed. We are just straightforward. Everyone gets surprised because it is too direct. They might not understand the situation around them. But it is all done by higher self. It means that you are just as yourself. You just tell what you feel as is, as you are. On the other hand, I wonder why people think or react about it. This is probably just the way how people have perceived the world until now. That's what I felt it. Nobody would be bothered if you are open to each other and talk, ab talk about what you think. But the society did not allow you to speak out. It's probably parents. So what I found out clearly from this event is there are so many ways to perceive this event. How people felt about me and about what happened. Yes, I feel exactly the same. Well, for example, I have watched the video. Akiko, you said you made a mistake, but it was not a mistake at all. Rather, I felt nothing like the way from your, my perspective. However, some people complained about it, saying that it was one-sided opinion. There are people who thought like that, which means people have the idea of supposed to or should be done. I don't know if it's caused by the family or the environment, but I can see the idea is to so fixed in their head. It's not about good or bad. Yes, you're right. It is not about good or bad. It just revealed how people grew up. I guess it showed the environment, how they grew up. When you have been told by your parents who raised you, also things that you have to put up with, or maybe you were, you've been bullied by someone, that kind of things were brought to light, and everyone's perspective was different. This is really important. This is what you have as your inner child, and what you want to heal now. I found my inner child too. That's for sure. On the other hand, I laughed at you, Akiko. Yes, really, Yoshi. Funny, isn't it? I don't know why, but I couldn't help laughing. You just laughed at me when I told you what happened. Not nice. I mean, Akiko, when you lowered your frequency, in a way, to immerse that place, perhaps you relied on me, but on the other hand, that was funny to me a little bit. It's kind of my thing. No way. And you said, what did you say? Earthling? Earthling? I said you are like an earthling on, or something like that. It was interesting with that kind of feeling. That's not true at all. I laughed at it. I guess that each person has different belief, 
belief too. I had a belief that I should make a certain things that the top priority. If I remember correctly, all things considered, many people were really worried about PayPal issue. So thought I needed to do it first. So I'm not going to use my time for any other things. That made me feel more funny and your story, I guess. So you were pretty calm at that time. I basically stay calm whatever happens, but I have changed recently. I become vulnerable of feelings that make me cry easily. And my inner child we discussed in last video and it leads to this bit time as well. Many should do come out on the surface. Today I'll take a healing session after this. I was really tired at that time and what made me that fatigue is not physical one, of course. I guess everyone is the same. Physical tiredness is not a big deal even without sleep. Well, of course you get sleepy, but it's not too bad. But the hardest exhaustion for me is, for example, this time, it was technical problem like PayPal or various things and people have not been approved to be a member. I used to immerse myself in the situation before. I crashed myself with a sense of responsibility. But this time we've got a lot of support teams so I deliberately left it to them. I'm leaving it them now, but I still become worried. The feeling makes me anxious and exhausted. Then some of my organs started hurting. I have some reaction from my uh, pancreas somehow. Or liver, stomach, intestine, those are, there's areas pain. That usually comes to me, something come to me. And every time it comes, I say, okay, I'm relying on people, leave it. I'm just doing that way now. This is why I found what was great about, for instance, the Starseed online community. You might think of it like a peaceful flower garden because of the peaceful images of Starseed members, but it, it, isn't, it isn't. Therefore, unexpected things happen in various ways. I think that was good in a way. Those events made us all realize so many things. I thought this is a re real deal. Really, it was for me. Actually, I have truly faced myself. I believed this is my first and last time getting immer immersed in these things. I was really hard. It was really hard for me. Indeed, it was hard. But what I think now is this is what I hope for. What I really think is that we need to face ourselves after all. We need to listen to real sound. This is the higher self. It is time to live as a higher dimension self. The most important thing I believe is to speak your mind and letting your voice be heard. Well, I guess this was good experience for all of us. The experience turned out as energy for everyone. Yes, I indeed, I'm recently, those few days, my intention of true feeling is to shout out for help. Looking back myself, I haven't been able to do it before. I don't think I could ask for help. Have this line cut off? No, it's fine. I'll keep on going. Anyway, I, could, I couldn't say help me. But I'm starting to feel like I might be able to say it now. Finally. You can just shout out. That's amazing. I think it's a great thing for me. So I just realized that I, have, I had this idea that I should not ask for help inside of me rather rather even if you ask for help you haven't got anyone who helped to have you yes that might be true it could be your parents in your case Yoshi. you have endured for your parents you're right sounds like you have spent a long time enduring i was convinced myself that i could not do it okay i'm keep on going as is I'll just continue, although Akiko's gone. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Well, I'll continue as is, even if Akiko disconnects. No problem. 
So when I was a child, I had assumption that it would be a troublesome for people if I asked for help. I believed I shouldn't ask for help. I have just realized that's why I could, couldn't ask for help recently. That's what it, it, it is. I think you have the re resistance from the childhood. Anakiko, you said you have cried. It was tough for you, wasn't it? Indeed, it was really hard. What made you that emotional? Oh, the sound seems to be interrupted right now. Well, for now, it's completely disconnected. Are you back? We're trying not to be editing. Okay, let's continue. Well, the reason why I cried, it was really hard for me that I couldn't convey my true feelings to them. They didn't get, the, get what, what I really meant. Yes, I think of something in my way and some people get it in totally different way. Well, of course, every person has different perspectives and nothing's wrong with it. But it's just painful that someone doesn't understand me. Then it might be weird to say this, but when you go into the frequency band of human being, that frequency hit you hard. Or, yes, the point is what when you are in the higher dimension, you can communicate smoothly using telepathy or high frequency. I guess somehow it was has been natural for me to understand each other without the word. My family and my friends do. I just had a lot of people who understood me as is, so I didn't have much experience that. I couldn't understand each other with someone. This time, so many people joined in my online community. We say that various people have various ways of thinking. Then I realized there are so many different perspectives. Well, that is totally fine, but something is against your f real feeling, which could be truth. How can I explain? I felt ah, someone can get this essential matter in that way. Then I was very upset with that fact that they didn't understand me. So the vibration is so rough. What is the... That is a low frequency. Well, it's not really low because the Earth, this frequency is low compared to the higher dimensions. We came down to Earth from where you can communicate easily with telepathy, knowing your frequency with a purpose to experience the learn what the inconvenience is like. That's why I really felt from that time, this time, but it was still really painful. There are many people stuck in their lower frequency. Still now, so many people are like that. Through this event, I was able to grasp those feelings. So I believe, after all, this was really a great experience. Well, what, when I think about myself, I still have low frequencies. I could go into heavy frequency in an instant. I could go down in a second. But I feel, oh, it's not good, and change back. Instantly, I experience this heavy frequency every day. What I think about it, that frequency is... Certainly, it is really, really heavy. It's tough having heavy frequencies. When you look at the world with this heavy frequency, you just feel that this world is just difficult to live. Like, things just don't go as you desire. Your, your true feelings just do not come across. That's what, I, what you experience when you have that frequency. But on the other hand, I have learned so many things from that frequency. I can talk with you like this because of it. I could also understand the people who's stuck in there. Yes, that's what I think is good about. I can also explain this way. Again, I like to see our lives as playing games. Each of us are the game programmers and the creator, and we all just dare to start the game of life from the beginning, level zero on purpose. Then you start solving mysteries little by little. That is like a sensation of revealing the truth. It still is much fun, fun for me. 
so Akiko, you tell me to time to time that I could let go more, but recently I kind of realized that I might be enjoying myself in this game. I guess if it's better to just release everything, but I think in some parts of myself I want to hold on to it. Maybe I have the attachment to the game, like I still want to just enjoy it. One of my big r e a l i z a t i o n here is if there's someone who feels the pain by watching this video right now, I would like to say this is a fortune indeed because if the life is game with 100 levels, there is no fun when you just start, start it from level 100, don't you think? Well, yes. If that is a game, you start from the beginning, have a lot of experiences, and then you can be aware of it, many things. And finally, you reach up to level 100, celebrating. Then all of your memories come back to you. Just remember, I was the one who created all of this. Is this that's fun. So you don't have to feel rush. Also, the awakening. Some people are impatient towards awakening. Well, you have released a lot already. People who help me remove blocks naturally come to me, including you, Akiko. Yesterday, someone came to see me from Shasta. For some reason, she removed one of my blocks. She did it with a r c h i t u r i a n s Actually, well, we'll do it again after this, right? What I want to say is the fact that people, those people in, I need just appeared in front of me shows. That I have given myself a permission to remove my blocks. What do you think? Is it, does it sound right to you? I'm amazed you see your spiritual condition objectively. After all, I just believe that life is a game I created. That's how I think. Let's come back to the theme about failure. In terms of three dimensional way, I used to say from business terms, Was failure or mistakes are always the steps towards the success. It is only a process to it. How would you describe the idea of failure in terms of universal point of view? And what is failure in terms of universal point of view? Failure is growth, so that is a good thing. Well, there is no good or bad. Failure is just an experience in the process you grow. We'll experience so many different things, so we tend to give the meaning to it and define it, labeling right or wrong. Yes, people want to see right or wrong, exactly. I think failure is just one of the experiences for the universe. The universe is expanding with all the experiences, including failures. So, by experiencing failures, particularly, There is an expansion and big growth. That's how I see the failure from the universe's perspective. The point is, by experiencing failure, you will have huge ups and downs that time. I caught up to the thought like I should have done th this or that. Well, not only myself, but people around me made you think about various things that b r i n g s you huge vortex of energy to expand. That's what I thought. So now you don't need to think of failure as a mistake. Because we are all live in this life of experience. There is no failure in this life at all. From the perspective of the universe, we should just enjoy various experiences. Something like that? Yes, exactly. Rather, you should experience more and more mistakes. It is time to not to be afraid of failure and do what you really want to do more and more. Then everyone will become more open minded. I got a lot of opinions from people like this, but when the earth c h a n g e a little, little more and once everyone's conscious start, consciousness s t a r t to change, people become more generous and open to talk freely. The frequency could raise more and more, then there will be more. Place that people can communicate honestly and openly. People will focus how they can make things better. What I felt at that time, there were two different frequencies. Well, I'm not an expert of frequency, but still I felt it. One was 
this kind of things are bad, this kind of people are bad. There are people who have energy of denial. On the other hand, there are people who try to find a balance and make it better. I saw people's consciousness was kind of polarized. But as a result, various things happened. And everyone think about it deeply, finally. Everyone was walking step by step towards growth. People grew a lot this time, including me. I found it was great. I am still not sure whether it was good or not. But telling your true feeling is important, after all, really important. Yes, your true feeling. I am with my true feelings. Even after I die, I will probably with, I'll be probably with it. Because of that, I've always been true to myself. Sometimes I say too much. I'm a person who can't really say my true feeling originally. Isn't this your true mind that you're speaking to me right now? This is my true mind. My true mind is really in my center, but it is something I shouldn't show every part of it, perhaps. I just realized I have such a belief. It might be something Japanese, but being honest is it's like true feeling versus public opinion. You should show your true mind little by little. For example, in this video, I'm expressing myself more than the beginning. And I'll probably show even a bit more later. I guess I'm telling myself deep inside that I shouldn't show my feeling too much at first, something that I still have in me. Perhaps collective consciousness in Japan has that tendency not to show yourself too much. I live in India now. I see everyone here is true. Of course, there are two sides, but people outside of Japan just tell their feelings frankly. It seems you can't live without speaking up your mind. You can't survive. Honest mind, true feeling is your higher self. Children are very much so, just like themselves. Animals too, they just follow the instinct. That's why you can't be looking back to my life. But recently, I have spent most of my time thinking how I can hide my feeling. Sorry, I couldn't help laughing. I had about 2,500 masks and blocked myself. Recently, things I do as started removed my blockages, but even more, my children is releasing my blockages a lot. The children are just amazing. My children, they are really free, you know. They're sometimes so too much of hustle. Recently, they just make me laugh. They're super funny. Anyways, the, those events have been removing my blockages. Well, my point is, I believe Japanese people have a very important roles for the Earth's awakenings, but such Japanese people do have a lot of blockages towards true self. To rewrite Japanese collective consciousness, what should we do? First of all, you would rather focus on yourself rather than thinking about collective consciousness. Being yourself is so important. What I realized through this event, I almost forgot about this kind of sense because I've been living in India. We don't have much of idea of true feelings, public stance in daily life. That is why I was kind of lost, losing that kind of sense. If I lived in that sort of environment, that is rough. Instead of rewriting a collective consciousness, rewriting your consciousness is important. If you have tendencies to be against yourself, focusing on yourself leads to rewriting collective consciousness because you are part of collective consciousness. So I have been rewriting myself little by little, and the collective consciousness will shift a parallel with my consciousness rewritten, I guess. Yes, exactly. So now we like to get the message from the universe again. What should we ask this time about failure? Being true to yourself might be good. I just got a strong one there. They're saying that your true feeling is the source, which is this creator. They are directly connected since the creator and your feeling is directly connected. Feeling yourself connected to the source or having this consciousness is how you truly are your true natural state of being. It sounds like your true feeling is always connected to the source. 
and about failures. Focusing on failure, they are saying that there is n not much thing to say. No such thing exists. It seems that is really the unique idea of the earth. Well, so from the view of higher beings, it seems they don't understand the idea of failure. They are like, oh, what is it? That is so true. It is the unique sensation on earth. It is truly the exact exciting part of living on earth and you really enjoy being at a loss what to do like it's neither this way nor not that way it's time to realize you enjoy the experience of limitations and the trouble happen happen to get out of those limitations so many people responded to it well it's actually about my online community i saw quite a lot and different kind of people responding the point is changing your own consciousness affect affect people around you this is time to face to your true self what do you feel when you watch this video anything comes out from inside of you Maybe your inner child, the feeling you get when something comes up to you that is heavy frequency. Now is the time to face it and take off those frequencies which you've been holding until now. Very strong message. Well, when this happened, so many higher beings came to help me because I suffered a lot. I asked for help. Really, I, sh I shouted out for help. I also asked you for help, you help too, Yoshi, but you were just facing on beta, beta, so I just asked for help higher dimensions, thinking that's it, can't handle it by myself. You're right, I just passed you through. I was desperate to help. Like, oh no, Yoshi, and I asked for help to higher dimension. Sure enough, a lot of higher beings came to help me. They told me to be patient, rather hold on to a little longer they supported me a lot after all this is very important point this right now is the timing of the change perhaps you are already realizing that cosmic being arcturians are coming so close to us now the earth has been already changing the dimension it truly and surely have been changing the earth is rising its frequency Actually, it's been already rising a lot, and it means we are also changing with it. What would become an obstacle for us to change is the heavy frequencies of yourself. Realization is fast. When you have the heavy frequency, it turns into the heavy reality very fast as well. That's what I have noticed this time. If you have that frequency, it will keep you from going further. Honestly, that I have been stopped so many times by heavy frequency in the past. It really happens. And I am glad that you have experienced this. So I want to say to the people watching this channel, why don't you let, let it go? I'll let go of my blockages too, finally. No, it's not the time to play around anymore. I need you to let go. Okay, I wanted to play a little bit longer, but I will let go. If you don't let go, it will have bad influence on others. Bad influence? Okay, I will let go. Yes, please. Let go of the heavy things you have inside. Not only you, but also people watching this. If you don't let go, it will affect your family, people around you, and... In the end, your frequency affects the earth and the universe. So if you don't let go, disaster like flood might end up happening. I've just thought right now, I have been enjoying myself, but surely there are people who are affected by my me, like my family. So it is like that's enough now. You have gone through enough, haven't you? Yes, I did. Well, somehow it was fun in the sense, well, it was fun to see things from birds I spew. I see things from that view recently that helps me have fun. If I were deeply submerged in the story, I would, I would think I want to get out of this very quickly. But I 
don't because of this third bird's eye view. I guess it is good that you, Yoshi, and everyone has your own pace, but each person has big impact. You see, this world is illusion. I am not saying you need to rush, but I think keeping the heavy frequencies affects. This conversation leads us to the point means that the time to change has come, right? Why don't you see their new world? Shall we? Yes, let's. Perhaps in the next video I would fix. I was told that my chakra is broken. Yes, that's right, Yoshi. You are quite worn out, aren't you? I would like to ask to heal it somehow. I might even enjoy enjoy the feeling of a broken chakra. Well, after all, everything is fun indeed. It is because this is very unique to the Earth, but I would rather say we can enjoy the new world. Okay, today we have started talking about failure and it progressed into many ways. So we would like to show you more in the following videos. Thank you very much for watching us. Looking forward to see you again. Dewa dewa.